catalytic converter off before you send your vehicle to scrap so you get a few extra bucks. This is going to be the removal of the catalytic converter the easy way. So for this job we're going to use an angle grinder with a cutting disc on it. Uh, normally I would recommend not removing the spark guard, the shield from this. If the disc happens to shatter it's actually going to cause a lot of bodily damage. The only reason I have it off in this case is because it makes it easier to get the grinder in under the car to cut the exhaust. So I've put a brand new disc on this to start with um, and if that doesn't work as far as getting in around the pipe then I also have a partly used one that we can try as well to complete the task. So on this vehicle we actually uh, lucked out and the exhaust pipe comes down a little bit where the catalytic converter is so that makes our job cutting it off a lot easier and faster hopefully. So I'm going to start on this end and see how it goes. Try not to shower myself with sparks at the same time. In this case, can't quite get all the way around, but this shield might be able to just be cut off. It's very close. There's only a little bit left at the top that I can't get yet. Uh, let's cut this hanger off. Almost there. Okay, one end finished. Uh, if I can get out of here. That was fun. As you can see, he stalled it. Now it's stuck. And got it stuck. Oh, come on. That's okay. Oh, something not to do. Do not stall the grinder.
sometimes cutting off the hanger so that you can get the exhaust a little further away from the vehicle is not only a good idea but might be necessary now if I can get this one off like that and our job is just about done just from that the pipe has twisted where I started to cut it so now I can get on the top side I don't know if you can still see get on the top side and Just like that, we are free. Now we still have this hanger here, which I can't see. Hot. Um, Voilà.